Very carefully, Ollenbach took a step toward him. Come here, Shai, he said quietly, without looking away from Shai's eyes. He touched Shai's hand lightly. I'm not going to hurt you. He tugged gently, and Shai found himself moving forward the single step that separated them into Ollenbach's arms. The door hissed shut behind him, but he barely heard it as he was caught up in the sensation of being held in full body contact by his guide. The embrace felt surprisingly good. He caught himself snuggling forward into the warmth of it a moment too late. That's good, Shai. Ollenbach sighed and pressed his cheek against the side of Shai's head. It's going to be okay. As much as Shai wanted to shove him away, there was an even stronger part of him that wanted to just stand there and feel. The warmth of Ollenbach's arms around him was heady, addictive, and even though he knew the response he felt was a result of the genetic imperative Ollenbach had told him about, that didn't make it any less powerful. I hate you, he whispered, wrapping his arms around Ollenbach's waist and inhaling the scent of him. Ollenbach sighed again. In time, Shai, he said kissing him lightly on the forehead. You'll come to love me. He drew Shai with him to the bed, and Shai went, too weary to refuse. He laid down when Ollenbach urged him to, and Ollenbach curled around him from behind, pulling a blanket up over them both. Get some sleep, Ollenbach murmured, slipping an arm around Shai's waist. He didn't make any other moves against him, and after several tense minutes, Shai closed his eyes but he never relaxed entirely.